just feel the ground under your feet and adjust the feet so that they're the correct distance apart. Feel the hips sink, feel the head float up. Soften in the ankles and the knees. Sink the hips, sink the shoulders and lengthen up through the spine. Gently breathe in and gently breathe out. So while you're breathing in and out, notice your spine. Feel the lower part of the spine hanging down, the top part of the spine floating up. You want your chin resting on a small ball. You want to relax the shoulders, create some space in your shoulders. Soften the knees. Feel the ground under your feet and then notice the breath. So notice the breath as it comes in. Notice the breath as it comes out. So today, um, Noticing the breath. We'll be looking at single whip, wave hands like clouds, single whip. And then we'll also be starting to work on the four corners bit. So just to confuse everybody. And we're just nice and relaxed, nice and comfortable in our space. Listening behind and above, softly gazing forwards, whether your eyes are open or closed. You've got this soft focus gaze. Just very gently turn your waist and come a little bit closer. So just let the arms really free up and you're feeling fully mobile in your shoulder joints. You're lengthening so the head floats up, your chin is resting on that small ball you're sinking down As you breathe in and out, gently follow 
the breath as it goes in and out. all through the spine and then just transfer the weight from one foot to the other so you'll you can you can take a slightly wider stance if that helps again really relaxed in the arms relax your elbows and your wrists as well as your shoulders And then we'll change to the outside turn. Again, nice and tall, just gazing, following the gaze and scanning across the room. Feel the weight transfer, feel the hips sink. Gently breathe. Okay, back to the middle. Again, take a slightly wider stance and then turn the foot in and have the foot out. So we're closing and opening the hip. We're nice and tall through the spine. Close, open. So you keep both knees bent when you're doing this. Tall through the spine long through the spine, relaxed, relaxed and comfortable. You're feeling very comfortable and then we open the arms. Nice, big, expansive feel through the chest. One more each side. Great, shake out. Check your posture. Feel the feet. So pay attention to your feet first. Lengthen, sink. Take a couple of slow deep breaths. And then once you've, once you've uh, taken your breaths and you're feeling nice and comfy, just tune into your natural springs. So just relax around the lower back. Lengthen through the spine, relax the shoulders, relax around the hips, relax the knees and ankles, elbows, wrists and hands. So this soft springy feeling in the body. You know, like you. And then we're
So just allow the arms to fall down. And then because they've fallen down, because of the natural elasticity in the arms, they come straight back up again. Um, I will be doing an updated loosening video. I will try and keep it concise. Um, keep breathing. And then change so you put, turn the palms up. And you feel this open feeling through the chest. Relax the lower back. I'll show you that from the back. And then change to loosening exercise number one that I learned from Master Chung. Like this. So you're transferring your weight from one foot to the other. Breathe. Connect. So you're connecting from all the way up the legs, from the feet to the ends of the arms, all the way up to the head. That's it. Very good. So you just really relax the arm. Feel very relaxed, soft, smooth, and slow. So it's just this slow, springy feeling in the body. And we're all breathing. Marvellous. Okay, next. Oh. You know, imagine, imagine you've got another year of pandemic to get through. Oh. <laughs> oh, that, very well done everybody that worked <laughs> well i like to keep things topical you know relax the shoulders that's it and okay really let go i'll come a bit closer let go in your shoulders very soft think soft thoughts okay we'll think soft thoughts first oh right now try it again Hang on. Oh. We'll manage. And then, then let go in your lower back. Let go around here too. That's better. Okay, we'd better change to Barry's one. So what you do, we'll come a bit closer, is you make a loose fist with both hands, thumb outside, and then you punch up into the air and then let go and as you let go your heels slightly come up off of the floor and we'll do 30 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, nice and loose, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, what a relief. Okay, then we can do this one and because we're doing this one i will bring that down a bit then there's a bit more foot space i think i've still got yeah i've still got a bit of arm room there i might have to adjust it again later i've been having a the room's not quite long enough to to be able to get all the arms and all the legs in without having to adjust 
show you that from the back cap actually, actually. So, so you want to let go in the shoulder joints and also you want to free up round the hips and free up in the lower back. And you're doing your bounce. And from the side. breathing okay just let the arms relax let your hips sink shoulders sink feel the ground under your feet and just check your posture again and then this one Again, you're sinking. Eventually, the circle that each of your hands makes is the same size. But don't worry if they're slightly different. That's all right. You just want to really, really relax. Try one arm at a time, actually, and also have a slight lean. So you can really let go in that shoulder joint and then so you're not lopsided try the other side so i'm using my i'm using my momentum to move my arms so the arms just kind of swinging round and then back back to the middle and then that that might have helped a bit Sink back, sink forwards. And then sink back, turn, sink forward, turn. Watch the alignment of your knee. So you want your knee pointing where the toes point. Sink down, nice and tall, looking forwards. Listening behind and above, all through the spine. Lots of room in your body. Okay, and then change sides. Have a little shake out first. And then Sink back and forward first. So again, watch the alignment of the knee. That's it's a tall. Softly gaze forwards. Listen behind and above. 
chin resting on the ball and uh, the gaze is alert but relaxed sink back sink forward and turn sink back and turn so you can feel this hip open and then it closes again and then the same with the back hip so the back hip closes the back hip opens And shake out. Just gather around and we'll just do a bit of rooting down. So breathe in again. Feel the elbows separate and then the elbows come together. And you've also got your ball. So you feel around the shape of the ball. You come up, feel around the shape of the ball and you come down. I can see you've all slowed down. That's great. That's really good. No hurry. You know, even if you're in a rush, you want to be in a rush in an unhurried way. Yeah, good. And then let the arms go. Wild goose flies. It's nice and relaxed, nice and connected, soft, slow, smooth. Connected and engaged, calm and relaxed. One more time. Again, relax along the spine and then we'll do parting the clouds. One more time. Dragon plucks the stars from the sky.
Breathe in and out. Natural, gentle way. And then finish the one you are on. Have a little shake out. So we'll, we'll continue with the um, doing one side and the other, but we'll have a look at uh, White Crane spreads its wings so as a, as a health exercise. So we transfer the weight, we go into cat stance. So that's the footwork. And then the hands, you grasp the sparrow's tail, White Crane spreads its wings. Grasp the sparrow's tail, White crane spreads its wings. We'll just do this for a bit. Really, really take your time. It's almost like if you have a nice big bath and you've got the candles going and you've got all the lovely smelly salts going and the nice music playing. And like, like, luxuriating. We're all do this. We're all luxuriating this movement. I just feel it. Oh, isn't that lovely? Coordinate the hands and the feet. So, 20% in the front foot. And then this hand, the bottom hand, there's a slight curve. There's still a slight curve in the arm. So I've got a bend in the elbow. make it a little more exciting if you want you can do a little kick if that because when you when you see a cat stance in in tai chi that's actually code for a hidden kick we could just do a little whoosh, kick if you want okay just relax Check your posture. Just bring the hands around. Nice curved shape. I'll show you that from the diagonal. So you're in Cheng Bao or Zhang Zhuang position. Again, it's as if you're just about to sit down. Just transfer the weight and turn. Transfer the weight and turn. Keep your breathing natural, keep your breathing soft, relaxed. Relax the palms of the hands. And then rotating the ball. There's a slightly more upright version of the one we did earlier today. Feels like a long time ago now, doesn't it? <laughs> now it's all dark. Right, we're all breathing. So keep the breathing re relaxed and natural. Okay, now go in the other direction.
Okay, that's great. Just let the arms relax and, and keeping that turning. Let's just do half of wave hands like clouds. So we're opening, you want to open in the, really let go in that, in that shoulder and the arm floats. So it's very light, very soft. Yeah, that's much better, much smoother and slower. Remember, we're soft, smooth and slow movement. You can feel the weight transfer. You turn the waist. And also, rather than sort of looking at me all the time, um, it's something I picked up from Eva this morning. I went to Eva's class. I try and get to, I try and get to her twice a week. Keep your breathing natural and even. And again, you want to relax, you want to sink the chest as well as the hips. Use your eyes. Relax around the elbow. How is it? Yeah, that's very good. Okay, that was so good. We're going to do the other side now. We're just going to relax. Relax around the hands, relax the elbows. Breathe. Notice the sensation of contact through the feet so really feel that ground feel the the waist turn lengthen through the spine okay and then this time so start here actually we'll, we'll break this down so start here now put your hand underneath. Right, now what you're going to do, notice where your elbow is pointing. So you want to follow the direction of the elbow. Then you turn. Now follow the direction of the elbow. And then you turn. So, because the elbow is going that way, you've got to go that way. So you're going outwards. And we're all breathing. Actually, I'll show you that from the reverse view. Have a look and then have a look and then join in when you feel that you might have it or, or have something like it. So, this is sinking. This is sinking. This is raising up and you're raising up through the crown of the head. You're relaxing. Sink the hips. Great. Yeah, better. Better, much better. Okay. Actually, take a slightly wider stance. Not too wide. So it's a um, horse stance, but it's a very small horse. We're not overexerting ourselves today it's too cold so we'll go like this and you want to nice and round and we're going to do part the wild horse's mane 
health exercise. So you've got this upward feeling and a downward feeling. Hold the ball, bring it across. Lovely. One. Tall through the body. Two. Three. Four. Light and soft arms. One. Two. Three. Four. unhurried just take your time just go oh this is good and feel focused and clear in the movements and we're all breathing and we're all relaxed aren't we very good. There we go. And, oh. Okay, we're going to do one more of these each side. So make it good. Last one. Beautiful, everybody. Really nice. Shake out. We better leave that one there because that was almost perfect. Fab. Nice. It's good when it works, isn't it? <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's do inspect the horse's mouth, roll back, ward off, and double handy push as a little. As a health exercise and then we're going to do single whip lots and um yeah so so again the sitting bones and tailbone and hips it's like you're about to sit down on a high chair and you're just about it's like that point where you're just about to sit down and you're it's that try and try and catch it in that moment in time when you're doing this stance so when I used to do standing exercises uh, with Master Chun, he called this sitting. sitting. Let's, let's practice sitting. And um, at the time, I found it a little strange because I thought, well, I don't, you know, I'm definitely not sitting down on a chair, but I can kind of, you know, a few years down the line and a few more grey hairs and that, um, I can kind of see where, where, where he was coming from, really. So, good, solid base. So that's where, when you, when you come on the Friday class and we're doing the punches and kicks, it makes your legs very strong. So we turn the foot out. Now the angle depends on how your leg personally got attached when you, when you were born. So... Uh, we sink back and sink forward. So we'll just we'll just tune into this again. What I'll do is I'll show it from the diagonal. Okay, now we gather around and hold the ball and turn into this leg. And the knee is in line with the toes. Then we transfer our weight, we turn. Bring the arms around, sink down. Double handed push. That's good. So we're, we're going to just do the health version. So we don't need to go into cat stance. We're just feeling the transfer of the weight lengthen through the spine. 
practicing your soft focused gaze that is both alert and relaxed like the gaze of a sleepy tiger so you are missing nothing with your gaze soft smooth slow and we're breathing fab so we'll do one more round of this these on this side and then we'll do um we'll do them on the other side but let's do our last round So the slower you move, the more you practice the postural, structural mode of action of your muscles. So of, of muscle action, structural. So. so get yourself comfortable. So get comfortable, then go into your stances. It's really, you know, there's no hurry. You want to feel just so, so it, and we're just, oh, great. And then when you've moved your leg, take time to get comfortable again. So it's something um, uh, Carell's been talking about feeling comfortable. You want to feel comfortable when you're doing, so there's no strain. So it's something that you kind of ease yourself into excellence rather than striving it's it's a slightly different approach different to what uh my other teachers ollie bats barry mcginley do i'm not saying there's anything wrong with effort i'm just saying we're doing it different here it's all good so inspect the horse's mouth, roll back. So at some point we'll, um, we'll have a look at the detail of this, ward off, double handed push. So open the palms on double handed push. Inspect the horse's mouth, use your natural breathing, roll back, sink the shoulders. Knee in line with the toes, very good, ward off. Double-handed push. Soft, focused gaze. Feel the feet. Breathe. Marvellous. Inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off. Double handed push. And then what we'll do is we'll do our last round now. We'll do our last round. And then have a little shake out. Have some water if you need some. We're going to spend the rest of this part of the class on single whip, wave hands like clouds, single whip, just to kind of get that, get that sus. We'll be working on the um, step back and repulse the monkey ad nauseum for the last few weeks. So we're just doing this, this bit and uh, and then what I plan to do, spend a few weeks on wave hands like clouds, single whip. And then once we've got that more almost perfect, we'll have another look at brush knee and, and twist. Because that's another tricky one um, in this part of the class. So 
Right, I've just got to get my brain sorted out because I've got a mirror. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, got it. <laughs> oh, actually, I'll bring the uh, down a bit just for now. So it's a little easier to see the feet. Okay. So what we'll do, so you step back with your right foot. And we're just going to do single whip lots. So single whip, actually you want, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's backtrack a bit. When we're doing part the wild horse's mane and brush knee and twist step. Um, so I'll, I'll show it from the front. Part the wild horse's mane. This is quite a nice square. This is, this is quite a nice large base. And it's the same with brush knee and twist step. You've got a nice wide base. When you're doing single whip, you want it a little bit wider, not hugely wide, but um, if you have a look at my single whip, That is definitely wider than when I'm doing this or this. So single whip, bit wider. You think, you know, make it big. I'll show you from the diagonal. I'll show you from the side. So my front hand points towards the front wall. My back hand the wrist points towards the side. So I've got this direction and I've got this direction when I'm doing my single whip. Uh, have a have another look and then we'll we'll join in. Yeah, really watch. Really watch. My my single whip is different to what Mike does. When he does it, his arm's a bit higher up. Um, I prefer to have the arm more shoulder height. Uh, the reason why, my first teacher, Ed Hines, um, he was a gold medalist in forms. He was a, he's a champion. He lives in France now. And his single whip, this was more level with the shoulder. And I just like it. I just like how he does it. So we're going to do a single whip. And then you sink the shoulders, sink the hips. And there's this... The hand, the front hand, is similar to when you do brush, uh, knee and push, and also when you do step back and repulse the monkey. The, the hand shape is the same. So there's a slight bend here. In fact, in single whip, it's slightly shallower because you're kind of, there's a little bit of a gentle stretch as well. Right, explanation over. Let's just do it. So we go one, two, three, four, five. So this is where you, it's good to practice standing on one leg. I'll just show you that from the side. So as you can see, this is shallower than when we're doing step back and repulse the monkey or brush knee and push. You're, you're here. And this is like a kind of bird's beak. It's called bird's beak. Okay. Then we go one, two, Three, I've got the numbering right now. Four, five, one, two, three, tall through the spine. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, good effort. Good effort. Sink the shoulders more. Sink the hips more. Bend both legs. Okay. And then once more with feeling. One, two, three, 
four, five. Right, other side, just so you're not lopsided. So we're gonna do single whips on the other side. One, two, so nice and slow first. Three, so get your three just so. Four, five, heel toe, then set up the arms and sink your hips sink your shoulders and then do your sleepy tiger eyes that's it one two three this really works your legs doesn't it four five very character building that's it yeah good effort good effort yeah so maybe try a smaller step if you're developing a bit of a wobble, two, three. Now on three, make sure your hips are level. So level your hips, sink down, bend this back leg. Now four, that's when you raise this leg, move it out a bit, heel toe, then five. Good. Right, once more, one, two, three, four, nice and slow, five. So the uh, martial application for that is um, you'd have to adapt it. So say, uh, imagine someone's coming at me with a punch. I deflect and then I'd move so I've deflected the punch I've moved an arm out of the way and then I've given them a shove and it'd be a lot more it wouldn't be as big as this this is just to practice feeling the energetic um, aspect of what's going on so you just want to feel where the energy is actually going but in a in a sort of real life well not that I've ever actually been in any yeah. If I was practicing applications with a cooperative partner, there you go. That's not very real life either, but you'd be boom. Or so that'd be a, that's like um that kind of movement is, is you can use as a as a kind of arm bar. So um but anyway you'll you'll have to imagine or what I might do is um, maybe in this part of the class I'll ask Mike if I can borrow him and show some applications on Mike that might be quite fun well entertaining for you to watch me chuck Mike about or <laughs> get him to come and do them on me but um, well we've done it both sides okay let's I think we'll just stick with um, wave hands like clouds single whip because we're on a bit of a roll here. We may get to four corners. We might not. It's, you know, you can only do so much. So what we'll do now is we'll just do this. As if you've not got a care in the world. You know, you're just like, oh. And also imagine that this is like one of the easiest things you've ever been asked to do and you are mildly insulted that's better brilliant okay now keep that feeling of feeling mildly insulted what we're going to do is we're going to step in now sink the hips step out but keep your hips in a sunk state so this all be very good for your legs. That is Tai Chi teacher code. <laughs> yeah. Have I got enough room? I've got room just for one more. And then I've got my... And then, oh, Lil's disappeared. 
Yeah, she just stays for an hour. So we're just going to go for, uh, sideways for a bit. Now, stepping sideways, very good for developing balance. And we're breathing, and we're just all nice and relaxed. And You know, if you, if you're feeling a bit bored or whatever, you can walk to the shops like this, or maybe walk around the shop like this. So um, I was teaching earlier today one of my um, private students, and they were moaning about how bored they are of this pandemic, and I was like, yeah, that's true. So you can do this. Very exciting feel better already there we go Mate. so relax more around the elbows and think about this rounded shape in the arms okay well right demonstration uh-huh huh. hang on a minute now how are we gonna <laughs> hmm. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we're going to go from double handed push. Okay, demonstration. Observe. Sink back. Turn. One, two, three, four, five. So the entries different than the exit on the on the first one then we go one two three so we'll do it both directions anyway just just join in and then one two three four five yeah, we'll be doing it both sides, but we'll stick with one side and then we'll try it on the other just to confuse ourselves. Excellent. So double-handed push. Tall through the body, lengthen through the spine, sink the hips, sink the shoulders. Slight bend in the elbow. So notice the distance between your hand and the shoulder is more like in... Brush knee and push and step back and repulse the monkey. And the, in the other one, it's a bit bigger. So we sink back, we turn, we go down. Oh dear, we've lost Darren as well. Never mind. Single whip. Hopefully he'll be back. And then one, two, three, four. And then off we go. Sink the hips, breathe soft, smooth, slow. And then one, two, three, four, five. That was so good, we'll do it one more time and then we'll have a look on the other side. So we're starting from double handed push and then when we do it on the other side I will demonstrate it on the other side first and then we'll join in after I've demonstrated it so we're all fine. Okay, here we go. One, sink back. Two, turn. Three. Four and five single whip nice and big one two three and then off we go sink the hips step out with your left foot three times one two right i'll have to do a mini step because i'm running out of room three one two three four and 
five. Brilliant. Right, that was so good. We're going to go in the other direction. Um, just so we're, we're not wonky. I'd better demonstrate it first. One, so you can see what's going on. Two, to make sure I've got it correct when I'm in the other direction. So we've just finished double handy push and we sink back, we turn. Two, three, four, and five. Single whip, nice and big. Sink the hips, sink the shoulders, open the chest. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, and we just do it again. You know, it's bad enough in one direction, isn't it? Without having to change directions as well. Dreadful. And then one more time. And then we just go oh. tall through the spine. Nice and tall. Nice, big single whip. Sink the hips. There we go. Right, let's do that a few times. Then, oh, I think we've got, we might have enough room for four corners. We'll see how we get on, but we just. And begin. So again, just give yourself lots of space. There really is no hurry. Just take as long as you need. You know, if you want to go slower than me, you can. If you want to go faster than me, you can. But you just sort of you connect up through the body. Feel that your your arms are connected to the turning of the waist. One more time and change. Oh, I'd have stepped bigger, but there was a wall in the way. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I'll, I'll step further away from the wall. Sink the hips. So it's the sinking of the hips that brings the arms down. So we'll do this one for another week, I reckon. I think that will sort it. Keep the breathing natural and even. And we just sink down. Step. shake out. Fab. Okay, uh, let's have a look. At four corners, but before we do that, let's do some, uh, let's be kind to our bodies. So, we'll go back to this one first. We just want to make sure our waists are working. And the good thing about this exercise, it's nice and simple. Because all you're doing is this. Just takes about 30 years to, to perfect. Breathe in and out. Fat. Okay. Now rub the hands together. So very gently tap around your face. I'll come a bit closer for that. Tap around the face and I'm just very gentle. So I'm keeping my hands really soft. 
very soft hand. Now where the jaw hinges, there's a muscle around there. It gets very tight if you watch the news too often. So you want to just relax. Just read the book instead. <laughs> Much better. Oh dear. And, oh, the other thing is you move your jaw from side to side like that. Huh? Okay, and then we're going to tap and go up and down with the jaw. Great. And then round the eye socket. So on the bony bit, not the soft bit. And then go in the other direction. So you go round in a circle one way. Round in a circle the other. And then the size of the head. So this area here, that's your temporalis muscle. Very popular spot to get tight when you've got a headache. Oh, you know, so you want to... Actually, I'll pop that there for now. Okay, and then very gently on the top of the head. And then on the hang on, let me move my hair out of the way. On the back of the neck, either side of the spine. And then rub the rub the neck. And you can do little little massages or come a little bit closer to the camera. So I'm doing little squeezes there, massages, being nice to my neck. Okay, now let your arms relax and then just come back to checking your posture and also the contact with the ground and the feet. Oh, right, then pick a shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down the inside of the arm and up the outside of the arm. Okay, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down the inside of the arm and up the outside of the arm. Okay, now this time either side of the spine in parallel lines radiating outwards round the hips so just get them nice and relaxed and down the outside of the legs don't forget your feet and up the insides of the legs so you can use your, your flats of your hands, like I am, or you can use your fists if you want, you know, if you want to get into those leg muscles. But I recommend flats of the hands for the lower leg and the feet. Okay, and then we'll do Barry's knee exercise. So you want to make a cup shape with your hands and you go one, two, three, four, two, two, three. Four, two, two, three. Four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, and five, two, three, four. Right, that's enough of that. And then you give your knees a rub. So you just rub round your knees and think relaxed and happy knee thoughts. Great. And then on the tummy. Rub the lower back. 
and then you can tap the lower back and rub tap and rub and then relax the shoulders and on the chest just give you a big breath in and out and then and then and then breathe in and out one more time I'm just trying to work this out on the other side. Can't work it out. Never mind. Let's just practice two of the four corners and then, well, I get my head around it. So, what we'll do is we'll just step heel, toe, shoulder, turn. Hand comes up. Oh, hang on. Hand comes up. Push. Show you that from the side. So it's like kind of framing my face. So this is above my head and this is below my chin. If that helps. This is, uh, well, we will just have to assume I've got feet. This is so you can see the arms. Um, so, and we're just going to step out to the diagonal, heel, toe. Now with the four corners, you want a narrower stance. So yeah, before we do it, so when we were doing part the wild horse's mane, we were here, or brush knee and push, we were here, single whip, we were here, four corners, we're here. So it's much narrower. It's a narrower stance because you're going to the corners. But we're just going to practice getting our arms in the right place and we'll worry about the footwork next week. We'll, we'll put it together next week. So you put your, um, hold the ball, step, heel, toe, and you're in a narrower stance, transfer the weight raise the hand up and then turn the back foot in if you need to so we're just going to practice this one move sink the hips lengthen through the spine i'll show it from the let's see if that works from the side So go to the corner, but this is, yeah, it's easier if I face the corner, isn't it? It's quite hard to see on a two-dimensional screen, isn't it? But we're, you're managing, actually. You, look, you both look really good. Four. Okay, we'll do one more this side, and then we'll do, do one the other. So this is the position you want to get in, in all four corners. Yeah. Okay, try Have a little shake out. Now we're going to try that the other side. So we'll, we'll just step that way five times. I'll just show you first. So heel, toe. Establish the contact. Then you transfer the weight. It goes elbow, um, shoulder, elbow, elbow, hands. And I'll turn the back foot in. So I'll show that from the... I turn the back foot in to bring that other the back hand show you from the side to bring that back hand in correctly so it's a bit like um, those of you that come to my Tai Chi fitness class um, so we're doing jab cross hook when we're doing our cross punch we're we're using the leg 
to bring we're using we're using both legs to to bring the hands into the right place and it's the same when you're doing um like that so we're having a look at detail today we're having a look at detail the angle of the top hand it's not horizontal it's not vertical it's somewhere in the middle think of a roof so if if um yeah go like go like this and that's kind of it except we're like that yeah let's do that make your roof push make your roof push and look at yourself on the screen and check that the top hand is above your head and the bottom hand the fingers are below or at your chin level ah one two one two well, I feel a bit like that. What was that bloke called? Marcel Marceau, wasn't it? You know, the, the mime person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're not we're not moving yet. We're staying in Wu Chi. Have another look. Have another look. This is a brand new exercise. I, I only spontaneously invented it like just now. So I'm glad I've recorded this. Because otherwise I'd forget. <laughs> so I'm like this. I'm like this and then I go like that but with my hand pushed out but keeping the same bend as when I'm doing brush knee and pu uh, push and step back and repulse the monkey it's the same bend so we're here and then there and then just push forwards so when you do brush uh, when you do four corners this hand is slightly forward than the hand that's deflecting. So if someone was to come like a chop or a hammer fist, you'd come up that way to get underneath it. And because you're at that angle, the arm would slide off if you were lucky. If you weren't wearing uh, something sticky. So like that, oh, without me, and then we go back there. We'll do the stepping in a minute. So just check your show you that from the side there one two one two one two one two one two one two okay right now we've got that sorted watch demonstration heel Shoulder, elbow, hand, hand. Watch again. Shoulder, elbow. So if someone, oh, it's that kind of thing. Yeah. Shoulder, elbow, hand, hand. And with the second hand, that's when you turn the back foot so that you're kind of square onto the corner so you want to line yourself up with the corners and get yourself more square onto them okay here we go right ad nauseum we'll do it five times five times shoulder elbow hand hand and foot step heel toe transfer the weight shoulder Elbow, hand, hand. Sink down. So you're not leaning, you're just staying contained. It's quite contained this. Heel toe, shoulder, elbow, hand, hand. Long through the neck. Shoulder, elbow, hand, hand. Mm. 
Amo, amo. I'm gonna shake it. Great. Okay, uh, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> I'll demonstrate it the correct way round for me, but it will look the wrong way round for you. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to I'll have to spend this week doing it in both directions, so I'm less um, perplexed. But I can do it in this way. So this is the whole of the Fair Lady Works at Shuttles, or Four Corners. And I, what I'll do is I'll bring that down a little bit and hope I don't run out of room up top. And hopefully you'll be able to see the feet a bit better. So I'm just doing golden cockerel stands on right leg. Then hold the ball. Then it goes, Fair Lady Works at Shuttles, number one. Almost. Turn, go all the way round. So that's corner number two is over there. Corner number three is here. And then corner number four. And then it goes into high block searching for the golden needle at the bottom of the seabed etc 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 so um if you can do it in that direction and you don't mind me being the wrong way round why don't we just give it a go so golden cockerel stands on right leg then hold the ball left hand on top right hand underneath step down with your left foot step Transfer the weight, shoulder, elbow, hand, hand. Fair lady works at shuttles. You can't see my top hand, you'll just have to imagine it. Sink back, turn, push out, gather under, hold the ball. Corner number two. It's a smaller corner. Corner number three. And corner number four. Oh, that's my five minute warning bell. And relax. Well, I'm glad I did that, otherwise we'd have, we'd have run out of... Um... We'd have um... run out of time. Um, right, so the trick with the, with the four corners I think I probably can do it in the other direction now. Oh yes I can. One, two, oh I can. Brilliant. Three, and four. I just had to do it the other side first. So the trick with that is knowing your feet. Knowing your feet. Um, yeah. And um, really knowing your footwork. So once you get that clear, so So it's almost like your feet know where to go. The feet know where to go. So you don't have to worry about it at all. You're just sort of doing it. And then down. And then we've got that. And then. 
Hmm. I mean, we're not doing bad. Hmm. Yeah. So what we'll do over the next few weeks, we're looking at wave hands like clouds from the first half. And we'll also look at the four corners of the second half. I will move the this back because we're running out of we need some arm room up top. Yeah. When I when I get rich and famous I'll be able to get a bigger room to teach my Tai Chi from. Uh but never mind, I'll just have to poke. So let's forget all that happened. <laughs> just sink down tall through the spine you really want to own your space you want to feel the springs in your legs knees in line with the toes sink down and we're just breathing and we're sinking our hips and we all look fab good oh Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your elbows, relax and sink the shoulders, sink the chest, chest in your hips, lengthen through the spine. So it's lovely, tall feeling, really own your space, We're all lovely and relaxed. Well, I'm very impressed. You know, considering. We're, we're having to do this on teeny tiny screens and it's all a bit two dimensional. We're, we're right, <laughs> we're doing all right. Yeah, and we're breathing and tall. Okay, let's do calming chi exercise. So we just breathe in. Take your time. There's this sort of just slow down. We we can rush around and panic when we go back out there, and then you're, you know, in fact, don't just relax. <laughs> just especially when you're out there, relax more. You know, don't don't fall for it. Just own your space. Feel comfortable and relaxed. And okay, sun and moon. So the moon is like an echo. There we go. And we're, yeah, fab. So, uh, So uh, oh, I'm, I'm quite happy, by the way, on the numbers because it means we can do advanced stuff in this class. So I'm, I'm basically, I'm not really opening this class up for beginners anymore. Um, I've got lots of those. So if it's someone that's done some Tai Chi, then they can come. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. One more time. And then we've not done this one for a while. Phoenix breathing. Again, if you've done this with Mike, yes, my version is slightly different. This is the way he was doing it 15 years ago. And I like that version. He does a slightly different version now. But I prefer the old one, so this is what I do. So this is like Windows 95 version or something. Win Windows 2003. There you go. Or it might be the version that I understood it to be. So I might just be doing a variation and Mike was right all along. There is that possibility. 
but we're okay relax some more everybody feel the ground under your feet nice and soft this is very good it's got its own rhythm i really like this move reminds me i was showing something to Karel, and i've been practicing diligently for about a year and it was i think it was his, his version of middle winding and i said here Karel, Karel, is this it and i did it and he said what is that i have never seen it before in my life and i was like oh crestfallen i was but and then i i, I was wise to him by then and i said if you had seen it before how would you do it properly and he showed me i wasn't actually that far off at all he was just winding me up but uh breathing that's lovely that's really nice and then we'll finish this one and then embrace tiger so there we go So it's another chi cleansing exercise. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. So you're returning to your soft um, place and resilient place of strength and power. But it's serene as well. I think of a lovely serene mountain. I really like that imagery, you know, embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. One more time. Hmm. And then we'll be super young today. Rub the hands together, especially those of you that were here this morning. You know, no one will recognise you in the supermarket. Now polish the face. Now rub the hands together again and give your lower back a rub. Oh, fab. Put these back on for you. And then have a little shake out. And then just stand for a moment and really own your space. And then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together and bow. Well, didn't we do well? Wasn't that awesome? Fab. Okay. 